the state adding hundreds of airborne infection isolation rooms. Designed to um, contain uh, um, contaminants, viruses, um, diseases for patients that are contagious. The negative pressure rooms used to stop COVID-19 from spreading inside of our hospitals. If somebody sneezes or coughs, the, the droplets get airborne and then they can migrate throughout the facility. Healthcare systems now turning to companies like critical environments professionals here in Arlington Heights who specialize in negative pressure rooms. We're probably working with 50 to 60% of the hospitals in Chicago. The AIIR is a single patient care room used to isolate a person with an airborne infectious disease like the coronavirus. The rooms are negatively pressurized to keep those contaminants and diseases from um, escaping. SEPRO CEO Mike Kaczynski is very busy fielding those requests. A lot of healthcare facilities are, are attempting to at least double their number of containment rooms. Kaczynski says more than a dozen hospitals around Chicago are looking to add new isolation rooms. The Resurrection Hospital had, you know, about 30 and they're trying to add 120. But with cases of COVID-19 on the rise, many others transforming regular patient rooms. We don't have time to build walls. We don't have time to build, put up a new building. The Centers for Disease Control say not all patients with confirmed coronavirus cases have to be in isolation rooms. So there's a lot of risk if you're not containing that virus within the room. So it's, it's serious. The team on the front lines, risking their safety to save lives during this pandemic. In Arlington Heights, I'm Alexis McAdams, ABC7 Eyewitness News.